uh, like I said, you can always read who a person is, but read right into their heart. Mary was exactly who Mary is, a sweet, wonderful lady. Uh, I had rented my house, actually I rented my house in Beverly Hills to Imogene Coca when I went to New York to do uh, uh, Mr. President, Irving Berlin's last show. And Imogene had ducks as friends and, and they destroyed my pool and she and her ducks moved out. She replaced the pool and motor, whatever it was. And I was getting ready to come home and uh, uh, to be in the house. And Mary called and said that could she rent the house before she, her show had closed in New York. Tiffany, Breakfast at Tiffany, I think it was. Her show had closed and she needed some place to go. And so I said, sure, you can move into my house. So now I've got Imogen Cole and Mary Tyler Moore back to back. Uh, Mary moved in and uh, she was getting ready to, to put her show together. And uh, um, I came back and I said, I have to move into my house. She said, I can't, I can't get, I have no place to go. And so Randy and I, my husband, excuse me, we rented a house, which we finally bought and uh, so that, till Mary could get herself located. I mean, this is a story about real estate. And uh, uh, meanwhile, Randy and I had moved into this house out here in the Palisades, and Mary called and she said, look, she said, would you be embarrassed if I asked you to come and be my mother on one of the shows? I said, no, I would love to do that. And so I said, fine. And so, and she, we talked about it and she said, when you were with Sid Caesar, she said, you did one of the things that I thought was one of the funniest things I've ever seen, where he takes your diamond ring and you start to cry. And Sid had taught me how to do this funny cry. He, he demonstrated it for me. I, I can't do it now, but, but it's, it's an incoherent talk through tears. You know, why do you something like that. And Mary loved that. And she said, let's do that on my show. Well, now, it's Mary's show, and it's her husband producing it. And when I got the script, I'm not about to tell her that the premise I felt in my heart would not work to do that bit of shtick, as you know the word shtick. I didn't think it would be funny. I didn't think it would work. But she was in love with it. She wanted to do it, and we did it. And it was okay. But it really, there was no magic to that marriage between the shtick and Mary and me as her mother. And that first appearance was very strained, at least on my part. I don't know if it was on her part, it was on my part. And so then the second show, which I had signed a two, two parents contract, was mostly about, it was written to be mostly about the fellow who was played my husband, her father. And that was the end of my working with Mary. Years later, uh, I was talking to Mary when she was in New York, remarried, and I said, Mary, why do you think it was that it didn't work between you and me that I was not asked to come back to do any more shows? I said, I have my idea. But she said, I have no idea. She said, I think it was fine. I think everything was fine. She said, I hadn't really thought about it at all. And we just left it at that. Uh, I didn't want to pursue it because I didn't want to embarrass her. I didn't feel that there was any magic like happened between Sid and me. Mary had a lot of people on the show that there was a lot of magic, and you have to have that to be able to work. I think if it had happened that Mary and I had hit it off, we're two nice people, but if we had hit it off, off on the air, I might still be on her show. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it works in our business. I thought it was one of the most marvelous things ever been put on the air. In fact, yes, they pushed the boundaries of a lot of stuff, a uh, single girl, all that kind of stuff, you know, and an affair between Betty White and, <laughs> and the head of the show. I mean, that's that's pushing the body. But it could only work with Betty White and um, uh, Lou... Ed Asner? Ed Asner, yes, thank you. It could only work between those two marvelous characters. Uh, I think today, if Mary wanted to do it, I think she'd still be on the air but I don't think she wants to do it. Well, they all, everybody went off and do other things, but that show lasted its full lifetime, and I think it could have gone on longer. It really was a groundbreaker, like Sid Caesar's shows were.